So I'm really excited because I just got the Starlink Mini and we're gonna unbox it, do a fuel test and show you how the Cybertruck can power everything. Okay, unboxing the Starlink is very easy. You have three pull tabs that you rip off to open the box. When you open it up, you're greeted with some simple instructions and just the items themselves. There's not a lot of packaging. As you can see, here's the dish, and on it you have this paper covering that you can simply remove and it's very satisfying. The dish weighs roughly 2 pounds 11 ounces and is roughly 10 and a half inches by 12 inches. Here is the Starlink pole adapter that you can attach to the Mini and here is the cable system. It's 50 foot in length and attaches to this AC adapter which gives the unit power. Lastly, the box contains this very large unnecessary piece of paper. We're just not going to pay attention to it for now. And here's everything. You have the dish, you have the cable, the AC adapter, and the pull adapter. Now, if you want to remove the kickstand to put on a different mounting accessory, you don't want to just pull up on the tab because it's kind of fragile. What you want to do is apply some pressure downward on the entire stand, pulling up and pulling out simultaneously. And it should come right out. And I'm here in Palos Verdes to do a Starlink field test. Where I'm currently located, there's about one bar of 5G service, so it felt appropriate. Currently, I'm not camping, just got back from camping, and I felt this is the best I could do to give you guys kind of a, a test setup of how Starlink could work in a really rugged environment. So I've got the Mars adventure table right here, as well as I'm sitting in a Mars chair. So let's set it up and see how we do. I have a backpack that I brought with me that I shoved the Starlink in, and as you can see, it's really compact, right? It just all fits within a backpack. It's all pretty exciting and what I also have here is I have a sheet of paper to show you how actually small this is right so one sheet of paper it's roughly like a little bit bigger than that I've never used this before so the whole setup uh, process is gonna be exactly the same for me as it is for you on this first iteration all right so we're obviously gonna need our power cable boom and we're gonna need the power adapter itself so let's get that out all right, power cable, power adapter, and we're just gonna run this to the truck real quick. Into the truck, I'm gonna start running the cable. You run underneath this latch, it looks like, and it plugs in. Okay, I turned the outlets on to the truck, and I'm going to turn the app on, because apparently it's that easy. All right, I'm going into the Starlink app now for the first time, and I'm gonna hit start setup. So I hit start setup, I have the mini, I'm gonna hit confirm, find a clear view of the sky, I have a clear view. So I'm checking, uh, I'm gonna allow while using app. Yeah, I'm, okay, so I'm gonna scan. This is pretty cool, I guess. View results. Some interruptions. All right, I'm gonna set up here. I have location, my Starlink is plugged in. Connect to Starlink, okay, open settings. Unsecured network, okay, it's joined. So now we're gonna go to the Starlink app. Should recognize that we're connected. Starlink paired successfully, all right, we're gonna hit continue. We're currently updating the software. It looks like it's 6% done, so I'll check back in once that's done. While I was waiting for my dish to update, I thought it would be a good opportunity to set up my service plan. So they have two tiers. They have one that's $150 a month, which gives you unlimited data, and another that is $50 a month, which gives you 50 gigabytes of data. Now, the most beautiful part of this whole entire thing is that you can pause service whenever you want. So you don't have a monthly bill if you're not using the service regularly. Okay, once the service is activated, what you can do is you can now configure the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna set my network name to Elevate, because why not? That's pretty on brand, right? So I'm applying the settings after I've configured the Wi-Fi, and it's now sending it to the Starlink, and let's see what happens. So it looks like it takes about one minute to do this, and um, I'm sure it's worth the wait. Okay, now that the Wi-Fi is configured, I'm going to now connect to it. So I am connecting from 5G to Wi-Fi. It looks like I'm online, and that was really simple. So the very first thing I'm obviously gonna do is I'm gonna run a speed test, so let's do that. So I'm creating upload data, and remember, when I sat down, I had about 20 uh, download and about one up. So it looks like right off the bat, I have 110 download. All right, well, it, it dropped down to 93. All right, so it looks like I have 93 megabytes download with a 10 and a half megabyte upload with 26 millisecond latency. That's insane. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna have a little bit of fun, right? We're gonna see what the Mac can do 
I have 3% battery left on this. I'm gonna share speed test on this. And this is way different. This is like 10 megabits downloaded. Now this can be a myriad of reasons. This can be because I'm not really aligned well. So what I'm gonna go back into real quick. So I'm gonna go back into the app and see if there's any modifications I can make to make this better. Okay. Oh, there we go. Starlink is aligned. So let's run the speed test again while it's aligned because apparently that had a lot to do with it. So I'm gonna hit this again and see how this goes. Oh my goodness, wow. So just by rotating the Starlink just a little bit, we can see that it has a vast improvement in how the service actually works. I didn't realize that I had to rotate it. So the app is pretty cool. I mean, that's a pretty awesome feature that gets it in the right uh, orientation to make sure you maximize the speed of the system itself. So I wanna give a quick shout out to Mars for allowing me to have this table and chair because it is incredible for this fuel test. And I imagine it's gonna be the perfect setup when I'm out camping in the remote wilderness and I'm really putting this to the test. So thanks guys. So that's gonna do it for this video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you here next time on Elevate TV. Peace. Boom.